Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 14, Ink Dropper. Alright, the Ink Dropper, or the Color Picker, can be found at the bottom of your toolbox. The quick command for it is also D, so you can press D to bring it up. And basically what it does is it will pick the color of another, from another source and change your object to that color. Now it can be really handy for a lot of artists because some artists like to build a um, sort of a, their swatches over to the side and they can use the color picker to pick from it. You also might find um, an item from you know the internet that you said hey I really like the red so I really want to use that. You can use the color picker to get that and basically how it works is you select an object so I'll select this one here. Press D to bring up your dropper and then all you have to do is hover over the the color you want to change it to and left click and it's as simple as that now we will bring up the only two options you have on this tool is for the opacity and basically what that does is it will read the alpha channel on a color so if say that I had an alpha channel set on this like a lowered it will pick up that alpha channel and also transfer it over so you could raise that up later now if you turn it off it will not pick that alpha channel it will literally just pick the color that it sees or you see so if you're not getting the exact color you want I would check these options one way or the other and see if that would help now the last little trick with the ink dropper is um, if you want to set a color for your stroke all you have to do is hold the shift key and left click and it will add the stroke and that's it a really simple useful tool for Inkscape join us for Inkscape tutorial number 15 the eraser tool thanks for watching